making a million dollars and then having the customer that I was looking at, I'm like, this is my greatest customer leave. Like all of a sudden it's like, whoa, what's going to happen now? Like, what do I do? Like, I just like, now I went from four machines to six machines. Now I got more guys. I'm working day and night. We're making it happen. And a huge amount of our work is gone. What do I do? You know, and, and it's a crazy story as fate would have it all of a sudden the very next day, you're going to see this in my journey. Like it happens a lot. The very next day, the phone rings. And it's a guy, I'm not going to use last names, but his name's Rick. That's his real name. And he calls me from Schilling Robotics down in Davis, California. And he basically tells me, hey, Titan, you know, we have a company down here and we build ROVs. And I'm like, okay, you know, that's awesome. And he's like, hey, we'd like you to come down and have a chat with us. And I was like, okay, yeah, that sounds good. And he's like, hey, can you come tomorrow? And I'm like, yeah. You know, my biggest customer just left. I didn't tell him that, but I was like, yeah, that sounds good. You know, so he gets off the phone and I look up the company and then I see these crazy ROVs that basically, you know, remote operated vehicles, these, these ROVs that drop off of ships and drop to the bottom of the ocean, like 13,000 feet. And they got these robotic arms and they do welding and inspection and moving things around and, and just, it's crazy, like crazy. Like I come from nothing. And all of a sudden, like I'm looking at this and I'm like, you know, this is an incredible piece of machinery, right? So I go down and I'm looking forward to it. And I go down to Davis and I go down and check out the company. I'm walking around, they got big tanks, like big tanks and huge cranes and they're dropping these ROVs like down into the water and they're testing them. And they have like all these computers where they're like flying them around and stuff. And you know, Rick's giving me a tour of this place and there's just so many workers and so many CNC machines and just manufacturing happening and assembly happening. And, and it's just like, boom. And I was just literally like, like I was just blown away. Right. So Rick's like, Hey, we got this new HD heavy duty ROV. And like, you know, we got all of these, um, things are getting sold right now. And, and it's a big deal. And, and we're so busy with these other ones that we're keeping everybody else busy and we need a good vendor. I'm like, that's awesome. I'm, I'd love to do work for you guys, you know, and, and we have a great conversation. But check this out. This, this is crazy right here. So he actually walks me into his office. He sits down. He turns on the computer. And he actually shows me on the computer screen. And he shows me one of their top manufacturers, their vendors. And it's, it's the company called Dylan. And he basically, like, he shows me. And it's like $3 million dollars. In like inside of a couple months, right? Like the first quarter or something, like three million dollars. And he, he points to it. And I look at him like, dang, like that's crazy, right? Like I just I made a million dollars in a you know in a year. You know what I mean? Like this guy's making millions of dollars like in just inside of like a couple months, right? And I'm just like, man. So Rick looks right at me, right into my eyes. He's like Titan, you're not here by accident. Like I've actually talked to a lot of people that know you and they tell me these incredible stories and how you like solve problems, how you run fast, how you make things happen and, and just about your talent that you just started your shop. Right? So we, we deal with vendors all, all over the Valley and beyond, but I'm here to tell you that if you're as good as everyone says, and he points at the, at the, the money. I will do this for you. And I was just like, okay. I mean, people talk, right? You know what I mean? People talk, but I was like, oh, that'd be awesome. You know, we haven't even talked about work yet. So I'm like, oh, that's awesome. I didn't even know what to say. So he says the owner of the company, I'm not going to mention his name, but the owner of the company has a part. And it's a big part and then you got O-rings and, and all these different things going on and stuff and it's tight tolerance, okay? And it's made out of 604 v titanium and it's an incredible part and basically he needs it inside of two weeks. 
And he's like, there's only a few people in the country that we even trust to do this, but nobody can do it within those two weeks. So because I've heard so much about you, you know, this is a good way to test you out. We're going to actually give you this part. Can you do this part? And I look at the part and he brings up the prints. I start looking at it and I'm like, yeah, I can do this part. And then he's like, okay, so uh, we have the material. Here's the material. Boom, boom, boom. And uh, we need it on this date, which was basically just the following week, midweek. And that was it. I took the part. The guy just said he was going to like make me a multimillionaire and my company, give my, my guys the future. And it was just the craziest thing. I went back up to my shop and I, I walked in. People were like, you know, how'd it go? And I'm like, see this piece of titanium? We're going to machine this. It's going to be crazy. And then this is the future of our company right here, right here. This is the future of our company. Everybody's like, oh, okay, that's awesome. Cool. I go in, I sit down at my computer and I Google how to machine titanium. <laughs> how to machine titanium. How do you do it? Like I've, I've been doing all this steel and, you know, 17.4 and I've been doing like, you know, aluminum and, and just stuff like that, but I've never actually machined titanium. So I'm like, you know, okay, boom, boom, boom. I call up Canna Metal. I call up, you know, some big players. I bring them in. We talk tools. We talk speeds and feeds. We overnight the tools. We get everything in. And basically, you know, I just, I just look at all of it and I think about the fundamentals, right? I think about like, you know, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to basically rough this thing, the whole thing. I'm going to allow it to move. And then I'm going to come back and I'm just going to kiss it, taking the pressure off. It. I'm just going to kiss it. I'm going to do this and that, and then just come in here and be gentle on these O-rings and just make it happen. So basically I spend the next week machining this thing day and night, just making it like absolutely perfect at the end of it. Like basically like, like spit shined it. You know what I mean? Like just, just made it glisten, made it gleam. Like it was a big piece of jewelry. And, and I was so proud. Like I went back down to Schilling. And, and I met with Rick and he's just like, uh, Hey, you got the part? And I'm like, yeah, you know, I got the part. So I give him the part and he's like, Hey, so-and-so the owner of the company, come over here. So then he came over and, and basically, you know, I gave him the part and the owner, actually, I'll just say the first name. Okay. The first name is Tyler. So Tyler walks me in to inspection and he says, you know, Hey, I want you to inspect this part. Here's the drawings. Here's this and that. So he basically walks me out. We walk around and he starts telling me about these 200 ships that are basically in the Netherlands that are getting built. And each one of these like ships has two ROVs and, and this, the, the ships are being built out like past 2017 and it's their new HD heavy D duty ROV. And basically they're so booked to capacity with everything else that they're doing. They're just in need of vendors and stuff. And, and we're talking and stuff and he's like, oh, the part looked beautiful and everything. Let's go back to, into an inspection and check it out. So we go back into inspection. The part is on the CMM. They've done surface testing. They've done everything. And basically the inspector looks right at Tyler and says, look, this is literally one of the best parts we've ever gotten or has come through our doors. It's incredible. The tolerances are perfect. I mean, like, you know, we had like plus or minus one thousands. We had like tents, you know, I just, we just kissed it right into spec, just made it sure it was perfect. Didn't take any chances. And the part was like flawless, right? So the inspector tells Tyler that and, and Tyler looks at me and he basically walks me out of inspection, walks me to Rick's office. And he basically says, Rick, the part was, is incredible. The tolerances are perfect. Like we need somebody like this. We need a vendor like this. Give Titan as much work as he can handle. And we just went right. I'm just like, okay, like I'm in awe, right? Give Titan as much work as he can handle. 
I drive back up. It's like an hour back to my shop. I drive back up. I get back. Everybody's like, how'd it go? I call a little meeting and I'm just like, you know, by now I got like, you know, six or seven guys. So I call a meeting. I tell them like, it was like great and this and that. And they're going to give us work. I go back in. I look at my computer. I look at the computer and all of a sudden in my email, I just see like, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, like just print after print after print after print. And I'm just like, oh my God. Like, so I start going through it. And over days, I just start quoting stuff and, and making it happen and doing different things. And, and you know, it, it wasn't an easy thing because the material was like tough materials, right? So now we're doing titaniums and we're doing steels and, and I have to bank that. Right. So I have to bank that material and and now the tooling is getting more expensive. So, you know, at the beginning, I go after some of more of the easy stuff and with, you know, grabbing some of the difficult stuff every once in a while. And I and I tell Rick, like, look, like we just started, you know, like so on some of the more expensive stuff, if you guys can actually supply material, then I will actually, you know, machine at a lower rate and we'll just make it work. And he, he agrees and, and we just start making parts and literally like within like weeks, all of a sudden we're delivering parts, boom, boom, boom. I asked for them to pay me early because there's so much cash flow going out of the company, right? And all of a sudden, like every single time they're inspecting parts, they're just perfect, perfect perfect like it's crazy right and and we're just doing such a good job for them and then like and then it's just like this and we're doing work for other people but it's just going like this and the demand is just getting bigger and the demand is getting bigger and the demand is just getting bigger <laughs> 